All right, my Aries babies, let's get into a couple decks. Let's pull a couple Oracle cards for you guys, okay? Let's check in, see what energy we are dealing with for my Aries babies. Let's get it. We're first going to pull from the Rebel deck. And then we'll get into the Ask Yourself Tarot and see what question we should be asking ourselves today, okay? All right, Aries, this is a general. So hopefully there are some messages in here for you that you resonate with that will help you. So let's get it. What messages do we have for Aries? All right. So we have take a shot. It says don't take 12. Take one or maybe two and then move on. So there is something that they're asking you to move on from. Uh, may have been some disappointment, some heartache, some heartbreak or, you know, minor or major. But, um, they're saying you can deal with this, even if it is by taking, you know, a shot or two. Okay, don't go overboard though. And move on from it, move on. Okay, process and move on. Anything else for my Aries babies? I know there has been some heavy energy um, with you Aries being that you've had, what? I don't know, two eclipses in your sign, full moon eclipse and just a lot of movement in your sign okay okay all right so we have this one that was just sticking out so we have the lightning bolt here okay so like i said this is giving me tower energy it says figure shit out on your own and you aries are very independent whatever this is you'll be able to move on from this and figure this out okay that's just what y'all do so it says stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person just fucking stop spend your time on someone worth it don't waste it on ridiculousness so this may be around a relationship someone may have let you down or is trying to ghost you um or just showing they ass and not acting right Let's get into, yeah, let's definitely get into this deck because I see this is around some dynamic uh, around um, relationship, whether it is friendship, family, romance, partnerships, and business, but um, for a lot of you guys, yeah, it is with, you know, someone you're dealing with. Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. What messages do you have for my Aries babies? Just no Aries, okay? Y'all a whole snack out here. Somebody ain't acting right. I know I may kill you to move on. That's not what you want. But always self-love think about yourself first okay so we have here it's not what you have it's how you use it let's get into it without other people we are not complete communication with others is the key to life talk to friends and colleagues discuss things don't be afraid to try new and unfamiliar things after all no one could have known that blue and red make violets or that red and yellow would make orange if no one had tried mixing the colors. Let's get another one here for my Aries babies. Communication is the key to life. Talk with friends and colleagues. Discuss things. Don't be afraid to try new and unfamiliar things. Consider the cost of an argument, okay, Aries? So we have, before you start an argument with someone, be it a partner, 
a friend or a colleague, consider the consequences of doing so. So for some of you guys, some of you guys, you might be uh, seriously being um, a little bit of a bully or aggressive with somebody because they is like really working your nerves and you are trying to like put them in their place. Um, hmm. Okay, but before you start an argument with someone, be it a partner, a friend, or a colleague, consider the consequences of doing so. If it goes too far, the fallout, fallout may either be bitter, desulting, and bad blood. What is desulting? Resulting in bad blood, <laughs> grudges, and a breakdown in communication. Even if you win the argument, what you win may no longer be worth having. Okay? So consider the consequences before you start some shit. Okay, Aries? Love you guys. All right. Let's get into some of the Ascending Life Oracle. Oh, yeah, six minutes. Okay, six minutes. Alright, what messages do we have for Aries? Alright, you guys. What message do we have for my Aries babies? What message for Aries? Alright, Aries, let's see what energy, what advice we have for you today. <laughs> this is coming out for a lot of signs. Rare gift. Rare gift. An opportunity. Um, a special gift given to you. Uh, the power to attract right now, Aries, okay? If a gift or opportunity is given to you, you want to make sure at this time that you do seize that opportunity. Waiting game. Okay. For a lot of areas, there has felt like there's a lot of stagnancy. For some of you guys, I see this is definitely regarding relationship. You've been waiting for someone to stop playing the in and out game or stop ghosting. Okay, expecting to hear from them. You know, putting a lot of energy into this person that does not even deserve you. Doesn't even deserve another damn text from your ass. What else for Aries? And this line on this card, it just, it kind of bothers me. Because I understand what they're saying. Um... Without other people, we are not complete. Because I don't really agree with that. Um, I believe... I feel like you should be complete or feel complete and content with yourself. No matter who is around. Or who you have in your life. Or who decides to leave your life or enter your life. Okay, that's just an added bonus. Um, definitely. So, we have anger that flew out here. We got boundaries. Okay. So, a lot of you guys, again, relationship dynamic, where you guys are needed to put down boundaries. Like, hey, you get missing for days at a time. Stay missing, motherfucker. Okay, don't even. Um, a lot of you guys have some pent-up anger and disappointment towards uh, the way somebody is acting. Tempers, egos, clashing. Um... Okay, now I see why they consider the cost of an argument <laughs> before you start an argument with someone. I see why that came out. Yeah, this is just causing too many, uh, too much conflict for you. So too much, um, it's causing delays. It's causing, it's causing a lot of negativity, like, this conflict, okay? 
this is something that you should really not even involve yourself in and step back from it if you can. But with this brick wall card, it's like the universe for some of you guys are trying to show you like this situation, this relationship, business, love, family, friend, whatever. It's just not for you. Like, take a shot and move on. Let that shit go. You guys are really like going back and forth. Like, oh, you know, maybe I should give this a second chance. You know, it's not that bad. Da -da -da -da. You know, woo -woo. no, mm mm. You got the unseen. So there are blessings that want to come in for you, especially with this rare gifts card, okay? Um, because there is a divine working behind the scenes for you. Trying to make that, that magic happen, okay? But you need to surrender and release and let something go. Let some things go. <laughs> Sorry to say it like that, Aries. I love you. So we have online. Usually this would be, this would give me, you know someone building a business online or um you know having a strong social media presence to build their business but no this is giving me aries that someone whether it be you whatever is online trying to figure out what this person is doing watching they move like okay they haven't called me but i can see the green dot when they got down facebook page they on Facebook, oh, they on Instagram, but they have not texted me back, have not called me. <laughs> mm -mm. Put that energy into yourself, boo, okay? Love you, Aries. But I, I'm always gonna tell y'all how it is, just for y'all highest good, okay? Always. Yeah. So... You know, we're going to pull out this dick because, yeah, because with this, and with this um, rare gift, the power to attract wealth, it's like you have the power to attract somebody that is, you know, going to do right by you, that's going to act right, that's going to walk it's the very ground that you walk on worship the ground you walk on but you're just not letting something go what message do we have for aries especially regarding this uh relationship dynamic what message for aries please fake accounts i don't know if this is you aries or them if this is you know, your person doing this to you, you ghosting somebody or somebody doing this to you, but fake accounts, yes. Like I said, a lot of online activity, okay? Where someone may feel ghosted, feel wrong, feel wronged, okay? Spying from different accounts, fake accounts, Facebook, Instagram. Then we have karmic friends. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secrets, com secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Okay, some of you guys, this is um, someone who feels like they have been wronged by you or someone you had an argument with, a disagreement that's watching you, definitely watching you on social media. Or vice versa, you're doing it to them we're not able to make progress or they're not able to make progress because they're still so sucked up in the situation of what's going on or what happened. Oh, playing both sides. Okay, you may be the player or they, or you may have a player. Oh, Lord, here we go. Extra triggered. Okay, somebody's extra triggered, angry, disappointed. Um, Wolf and sheep clothing. What else? For Aries. Come on, Aries. We're supposed to be focusing on the positivity. Focusing on our goals. Focusing on ourselves. Okay? Focusing on the level up. Jealous bitches want to hurt you. That's all 
love you guys. Stalker. Watching. Obsessed. Stalking. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is interesting, okay? Stealing your image and pretending to be you. You guys know what's going on. <laughs> I'm like... I don't know. This is a lot. Okay. <sighs> Give me a couple more for Aries. I gotta go eat because y'all got some messiness going on, Aries. I love y'all though. <laughs> Miss zombie. Some messiness going on. Oh, we gotta get into the bag that fell out. Let's do this shuffle. Some of y'all may be focused on yourself, okay? But, um, and out here ghosting people. Just really worried about the bag, not about this relationship. And for some, it's the other way around. Somebody ghosting you. And y'all stalking somebody. And you guys too, too preoccupied with this um, relationship that is just no good. That it is creating obstacles in other areas of your life. invest like you need to just invest in yourself at this time okay and we have full moon full moon is all about releasing closure letting go okay all right i'm going to gotta pull some analogy and then the fortune cookie oracle and then i'm gonna wrap this up Just so we have the Aries. A message for Aries. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. God, that's a lot. Hold on. Okay. A time for healing, Aries. Okay letting go and healing um you and your loved ones are safe through this a new start is coming some of you guys you are focused you are getting to the bag that flew out ain't involved in this fuckery what fuckery going on right now it be like that sometimes but all right what message varies let's see what message we should be asking ourselves Five of Swords. Y'all got some fuckery going on, Aries. Ten of Pentacles. What situation in your life shows you greatest accomplishment, your greatest accomplishments, and that's what you should be focused on, okay? What area in your life shows your greatest accomplishments? Ten of Pentacles. That's what you should be focused on. But we have that came out, the Five of Swords. What situation in your life is creating some type of power struggle and this is all about tempers egos clashing anger <sighs> arguments disagreements somebody feeling wronged five of swords energy what situation in your life is creating some type of power struggle shit needs to be resolved and released and it makes sense with this mercury retrograde we gotta go back to it resolve it let something go or resolve it Hold on to it if it's not toxic. Either way, this it needs to be resolved, okay? But whatever's creating some type of power struggle needs to be resolved and um, so you can get back on track. Let's see if there's an additional meaning for this card right quick. All right, five of swords. All right. Pride must be swallowed, limitations accepted before further progress can be made. 
we have to work within the framework of that situation pride must be swallowed let's pull a couple of these fortune cookie oracles because with this i could be here all day you know what <laughs> so a lot of you guys um yeah business wise for aries uh, who don't have the fuckery going on right here with this relationship there is a new start that is coming okay the energy is gaining momentum towards something in your life that you've been working towards or on um it is a time for healing right now so reviewing releasing okay some of you guys are really building something with this ten of pentacles at the bottom here that is long term a long term legacy or um long-term investment that's going to pay off okay a new start is coming with that we have communication and jealousy lord i'm getting out of here at the bottom of the deck we have property <laughs> a property purchase or sale for many but heed security concerns in transaction again mercury retrograde so anyways with mercury retrograde or not with any property transactions you want to make sure you're going through the fine print paying attention making sure that it benefits you okay we have communication and jealousy. Okay. Jealous bitches want to hurt you. Playing both sides, somebody extra trigger, karmic friends, Ooh, toxic relationships. Communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendship. A lucky win seems likely. Um especially with Mercury Retrograde, a lot of people want to come back, crawl from under that rock they was at or from that dumpster they was in. I don't know. Listen, so really evaluate if this is a relationship you want back in your life, friendship, family, whatever, romance, whatever, okay? Do what's best for you. Don't, don't be nobody fool. Jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish, okay? Jealousy. And we have here the karmic friends, which states can't fully trust them. Tension, secret, competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I could be here all day with this Aries, but I'm not. I love y'all though. I'm gonna see you in the next reading. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and check out my store for your spiritual items, okay? If you need your spiritual reading, your tarot readings, um, slash oracle read, you can go to my email, which is magicalgoon at gmail.com. Um, you'll have your reading within one to three business days. It'll be a link just for you to view, okay? And I will see you guys next time. Love you so much, Aries, okay? Stay out of the fucker.